Velkommen og god dag alle sammen. Welcome back to the series on the channel where we use the translations, uh, academic interpretations and theories about what the Norse gods and deities actually mean. When we do this, we see that the myths are not just fairy tales meant for kids, but things to symbolize different aspects of nature and the cosmos. Uh, and today, we are translating Bestla, the giantess mother of Odin, Vili and Ve. Um, at the beginning of the universe, when there was nothing else besides the giant Emid, and then his uh, this hermaphrodite giant gave birth uh, alone to a race of giants, uh, then Bestla was born and got married to Bor, and they banged and gave birth to the first gods in one big incest pool. They all stemmed from there. Did our ancestors believe in all this nonsense? Well, let's take a look. As usual, we will look at the translation and etymology of the word first. <coughs> So Bestla is a little bit debated, uh, Old Norse Bestla, some translate it to wife, um, kind of like a slang um, term for wife. Um, others translate it to mean bark or specifically bast, which is the uh, plant uh, fiber surrounding the stem of plants. Um, Others think it stems from the Proto-Germanic Bastilen, uh, perhaps a you goddess, or originally a Bast donor. Or it could come from Banstilen, uh, right here, which is uh, uh, related to Old Frisian Bus, which meant marriage, uh, union, or originally wife. Um, I've also seen this translated to the best of blood. Um, these are all just some different uh, translations, but it's uh, not quite sure people debate that, but um, slightly different, but all the experts agree that this is a very, very ancient word and an ancient concept. So probably the word and goddess uh, Bestla stems back to Indo-European times or maybe even before that. So uh, those are the translations. Next, as usual, let's look at the attestations in the ancient texts. She is briefly mentioned in the Poetic Edda, in uh, the poem Havamal. Uh, basically, it, it just says in there that Odin learned the nine magical songs from Bestla's uh, brother. That's the only mention of Bestla from the sources composed in the pagan times. We do see her in the Prose Edda, but remember the Prose Edda was written by a Christian uh, hundreds of years after pagan times, and it's not super reliable, but anyway, I'm going to go over it. <coughs> Bestla comes up in the Prose Edda section Gilfangning. Uh, here it just says that she was the daughter of the giant uh, Bölthorn, um, and she married Bor. Uh, as you see in my previous video. It also mentions that Besla and Bor gave birth to Vili, Ve, and Odin, of course. Um, the second mention of her comes in Skaldskaparmal, and uh, this just mentions uh, again that she is uh, Odin's um, mother. Um, and that's about all the mentions of Besla, not too detailed. Uh, let's just get into some theories now of what uh, the scholars think that she is. Um, first one, some think she, that she is the sister of Mimir, the giant head that Odin got his wisdom from, if you remember that tale. Uh, another theory is that uh, she, there was some type of family feud in ancient times, and um, this, is, this represents that. Um, Bestla is descended from Ymir, and married, and... Um, with the gods and, and produced gods from that. Then Odin and his brothers kill Ymir and a bunch of uh, other giants, so uh, some scholars think it could have uh, represented some sort of family feud in very ancient times, um, like a historical uh, thing there. Uh, another theory is that Bestla represents the bark on the world tree where uh, we think Odin was born. Uh, remember, directly translated, her name could have meant bark. Uh, another theory is that she is the best of blood. She represents the best of blood, the best genetics needed to give birth so humans and plants and animals can survive and evolve. Uh, these are all great theories that make sense. Uh, I have another theory. I think uh, this one makes more sense. Um, if you haven't watched my videos on Autumla, Buri, and Bor, do that because I tell the translation and background on those. Those videos are in the links in the description, but uh, going over it really quickly, uh, I think basically Autumla represents the domesticated cattle. 
that humans kept uh, during the Ice Age. As they started to lick the ice to dig for the grass underneath to eat, the ice and glaciers started to melt, um, uncovering the land that was lost for 100,000 years in the last Ice Age, like you see here. Um, so Buri represents this land, just like Audhumla uncovered Buri by licking the ice there. Then Buri gives birth to Bor, now, Bur represents the fertile, developed land. Uh, Buri is just the land, and then Bur represents the fertile, developed land that's, uh, that started to uh, show up after the glaciers receded. And then Bur marries Bestla. Now, Bestla is the bark or the bast, it's the, which is the cell, the plant fibers that make the, the plants complete uh, around the stem so that they can grow. And then they provide the food and life for humans in the north uh, uh, once again after it was covered in ice for a hundred thousand years uh, this is what uh, giving birth to the gods represents um, Odin, Vili, and Vey, and then we all stem from that. Um, so that's my theory. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to hear. That's why I make these videos. I'm not saying my theory is right. I'm not saying anyone's theory is right. I make these videos so we can all put our heads together and come up with the most logical explanations to discover the lost beliefs of our people. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. That's about it for this video. Vi ses nästa gång.